Hey guys, it's Kristen. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can connect your wireless headphones to pretty much any TV, even if it doesn't have Bluetooth enabled or anything like that. So now I ran into this problem where I started Googling and doing a lot of research on how I could figure out a way to get my older TV connected to my wireless headphones. Um, and the reason for that is because uh, my boyfriend works really early, so he goes to bed early. I work kind of later in the day, so I go to bed later. But I always want to watch TV because I'm not tired. Um, but then I'm always keeping him awake. And so I was like, there's got to be a way for me to like be able to hear the TV but not have him awake. So I started doing a bunch of research, and I found this cool device that allows you to connect anything, any headphones that are wireless to a TV that maybe doesn't have the capability of like Bluetooth or wireless, anything like that. So let me show you what I'm using and how to set it up. Before we jump any further into the video, if you guys are new, please subscribe and then don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. All right, so this is the little device that I bought. So it's super tiny and it comes with a cord to charge this. Um, so this thing was like 23 bucks or 24, something like that. Now, if you look at the back of your TV, um, some, mine's on the bottom, sometimes it's on the side up here, but on the bottom, this cord, this little hole right there, that's for our aux, and that's where we're gonna put this. So I'm gonna put this right in there. There we go, and then it just sort of hangs down, um, but that's where we're putting it right in there. So one downside of this for this particular um, thing with the TV is that this is super short. Like it's really tiny. If you're using this for something else, it's fine, but like for a TV, this really needs to be longer. Um, so on the back side and the side, you can see there's like a power button. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna try to show this to you. I'm gonna hold this down and you should start seeing a blue and red light flashing. So you wanna keep holding until you see blue and red. Now I'm gonna get my wireless headphones. So now I've got my wireless headphones and I'm gonna hold this down until we see a blue and red light as well. There we go. So now you saw that both of them were on and they shut off. And now this is just showing blue and this one here is just flickering blue as well. So they're connected. So now that your headphones are connected, you can be lying in bed or whatever you're doing. You can have the headphones in, even if the TV is like, I think it, it was like, I tested it out and it was like 15 feet away. Um, you can hear it perfectly, but nobody else in the room can hear you. Now this does work with other devices. So if you have anything else that does not have Bluetooth or wireless capabilities, you can use this little transmitter so that you can connect your wireless headphones. One thing I always like to include in my how-to videos is things not to do because I feel like people don't include that so then you make mistakes, um, you know, and if people give you a heads up, then you can avoid those. So one thing is you must have it connected to the TV, like plugged into the aux uh, cord or whatever, in, you know, import before you try to sync it. Um, any time I tried to sync this just on its own like side by side it would not work and then as soon as I plugged it into the TV and synced it it worked just fine. The other thing is that most TVs, um, I mean, if it's newer, it may not do this, but the older ones, which is what I'm using this for, if you leave that aux um, little device plugged in, you will have no audio. So if you like aren't, if your headphones are disconnected and you're like freaking out because the TV has no audio, it's probably because you accidentally left that little, um, you know, syncing device plugged in. So you do need to disconnect it when you're not using it or your TV will have no audio. And lastly, I know that sometimes people can forget this. I did one time. Um, it does need to be charged. So like it only lasts so long. Um, so if you're in the middle of watching TV and all of a sudden you lose all audio um, and maybe the lights, there's no pet, like there's no lights and stuff, it's probably because you have to charge it. So that's the only other thing. Um, I don't know exactly how long it lasts yet. I haven't really tested it, but I've been using it for probably like a month off and on and I haven't charged it yet. So it's probably gonna die soon. But just those few things. Things. Just wanted to let you guys know so that if you run into those problems, you know why. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it, and I hope this is helpful for you. Um, if you did like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to comment below so that I know you were here and list any questions you had or if you found other devices that you thought worked better. Also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and then hit this bell so that you're alerted when I upload a new video. And I'll talk to you later.